What's up everybody? Matt Nuzzo hanging out here getting ready for a light wind sesh. It's probably blowing 10, 12. I want to take out this new Nova light wind. This, we're getting a lot of questions about it. With the light wind, they basically have the standard Nova, which goes up to seven meter, and then they have the Nova light wind. Okay, so the concept with the light wind is that they, you basically, for your biggest wing, you pick a wing for eight to 12 miles an hour wind. By 14, you're gonna to be totally gassed. So it doesn't, you pick it per your weight, and you don't just get one size. So that will be your biggest wing. So in the standard Nova, I really like them up to five. The six and seven, they just kind of feel like a little heavy, a little heavy and dopey. And I just don't like really riding light wind that much. So maybe the six light wind would be kind of all I need for that eight to 12 miles an hour wind. And then I can go down to the normal Nova, which has windows. It has just a little more top bit, much bigger wind range. Cause you can see how deep, I mean, look at the strut on this thing, <laughs> on this eight meter, it's kind of a comedic. Uh, I'm gonna ride that thing just to see how it goes. But I already know that this is made for Sasquatch, which is not me. But if you are Sasquatch and you wanna learn to wing, then the eight meter probably will be great cause it's, you know, really fat. Doesn't have very, uh, it's not very long span, but it's really fat front to back. So what that's gonna do is give you a lot of low end power but I think that six meter, maybe seven meter would be the biggest light wind I have, and then you just go right to the standard Nova. Um, obviously these don't have windows, they're trying to cut weight where they can, and these are lighter than the standard Nova, as you can feel right out of the box. They seem to fly well when you pick them up. You know, I've got the, these bars, which uh, give you real direct uh, power input, but they also um, are gonna add some weight to it. You know, when you put these hard bars on here, they are adding weight to it. But like I found with the normal Nova is that the wing is built so well that as soon as it's in the air, it's balanced. When you luff it, it's balanced. Even the seven meter, I've ridden waves on the seven meter, I was blown away. Just one day it was like a lot of current and just not quite enough to get going. I took out the seven, it was like felt heavy when I was on the beach, it, you know, was, when I was pumping up. As soon as I got out there, I could actually like luff out, flag, ride waves, it was really good. So I'm gonna start with the six because I think that's gonna be kind of like would be what I would consider my big wing. You know, wind speed out here is about about 12, you know, it's actually, you know, but with the current and stuff, you know, so we'll, we'll see. I think that that's gonna do it. So I'm gonna rig up my foil and Get out there. I just take the wind meter on the Avon Pier. I'm a little farther south down in Bucks, and that's it's like saying 12, you know, like 8, 12, 14. So it's kind of a good range for this. It's the ocean, got a little longer mass, which makes it harder. I got my 50 liter board, which I've just kind of been going down, dropped down from 60 to 50 just to try this one out. I've been really liking it. Um, but obviously, that takes away some less literage takes away from an easy start. 11.25, again, gotta get a little more forward speed, HA tail to get that setup going, but this is kind of what I normally ride, so shoot, I'm just gonna give it a shot. I've got the eight meter if all else fails. So we'll start out with the six and then bump up to the eight if needed. One thing North did is they made these bars really long. Again, adds extra weight. With how the strut is angled and stuff, it makes them, you can really move your hands around. You can one hand fly it. It just gives you a lot of options for where you place your hands. It's almost like having a boom, but you can see that when you look at it this way, it kind of just, I don't know, it just works really well and balances the wing. Like when I start, I'm gonna come down here, just get a lot of power. And then when I'm riding, I'll choke my hands up, theoretically, if I can get going. So we'll see. Easy to flip over for a six meter. See how this goes. Now that I'm out here, it's definitely lighter than I felt. Or look. I always always look windier from the beach. Frost killing me then. Again. I'm gonna go get that eight meter. Six isn't cutting, it's blowing about five to ten maybe. Alright, going for the eight meter. Okay, this is what is known in winging and in kiteboarding, the walk of shame. If you want to learn to wing, or to kite, you can't be too proud for the walk of shame. Because I don't care who you are, how good you are, you will walk of shame. And a lot of it is that I got a little over eager, took out long mast, smaller wing, small board, right? And I didn't go as much power as I could. And I know that when the wind meter's reading eight to 12, we've got down short current about five, so I'm under 10 miles an hour. 
well, I'm out there. So once I was on the water out there, it was like, oh man, big glassy patches. It always looks windier from the beach. All right, I'll go get that eight. Give it another shot. All right, getting the eight. It's one of those things that with the six meter, I probably could have gotten going, but I don't know. Like you get out there, you get a ride, you're then you're way outside and you get paddling from way outside. It's just not worth it. So gonna take the eight. Kind of scared. A little more to swim with, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, so far the Nova Lightwind walks up the beach amazingly well and slogs with the best of them. Um, could have gone on that, that six, maybe, but if I kept trying. This eight wants to go, so let's see if I can get that thing rolling. <laughs> oh. Leash is kind of short. It does stay, they do stay put. The Nova's always stay really well on their handles. This one's a little more round leading edge, so but the standard ones just stay on their handles amazingly well. Oh yeah, it's on. Woo! <laughs> oh, on. Okay, I want to take a little nap in this thing. <laughs> okay, I just ate crap in the wings, so I might as well hang out here, take a little siesta. So, I mean, this wing actually works really well. I'm, I mean, it flaps, which I expected. It's an eight meter with a lot of canopy material, but it, it's totally manageable. I mean, I just caught the wing tip and fell into it. You know, when you turn down wind in it, it, it tail drops and you catch that giant, this like giant strut here. But all expected things, what I didn't expect is how fast you go. This thing flies, like you're just, I'm like, you know, it feels like you're going a lot faster than the wind speed because it feels like there's no wind speed. It really, you like when you're getting going, it kind of doesn't feel a power, but then you just, you just keep pumping the thing and boom, it just builds a ton of power. And like the draft just like, pops into place and you you get going and uh bars are nice I like my hands down here farther i try to move them farther forward uh particularly on the back end like it's like when you get powered up like i'm not overpowered but you know a knot or two more i'd be overpowered um so like you kind of have to have your hand down the bar a little bit which gives you more backhand pressure but uh yeah i could tack on it jibing actually when you go downwind it's easier going upwind because it stays in the wind and when you go downwind it just gets tail heavy and you drag it do a little air it's got a lot of support and you're going pretty quick but uh you know then when you land you're like oh there's actually no breeze i can't believe i did that so uh first impression is pretty cool now i gotta get out of this thing and flip it over yeah so the leash feels a little small on this one uh just looking at it, this is a pre-production wing i think they just put a little extender on here uh, for the leash and my guess is with the production one it's a lot longer leash because when you go to flip it over you want to be able to get down here and not have it be tension because otherwise it's gonna you know like when i flip it, it a lot of times the the wing tip will get caught on the board or something it wasn't bad that time but with a little longer leash it will help and i think that it probably comes with if not you can just add if you're getting it caught you can just add a little extender onto that leash like they did here already man this thing is fun hoping to get stuck out here though yeah so i mean you know even a small board like i'm on my like up to my waist 
in water, 50 liter board here, 170 pounds. I actually thought the eight would be too much, but I kind of like this thing. I mean, it's pretty fun. Like I'm 170 pounds and I think that like, I would use the eight, I would go five right to eight. Cause if it's crap raised, like I don't care. I just want to get going. So yeah, maybe the seven, definitely not the six. That wasn't enough for right now. I mean, I if I waited for a puff, I might've gotten it working. Seven could be working, but shoots, I don't care. Go as big as you can go. It works, so go eight. Hi there, it got lighter. Our switch stance is proving to be problematic. Let's try regular stance. Yeah, this is where the big board would really help. Okay, maybe pop coming, maybe. Just the time to get back outside, hit a jellyfish, miss a turn, and now I'm gotta try to get going again. So the issue with the issue with winging in such light air is that you're gonna swim. You're gonna have walk of, walk of shame. Um, I'm gonna try and get back in and end this session because I really don't want to swim in from out here. Uh, paddle in, I can. Obviously, I'm kind of I'm pushing my limits with small board, long mass, big foil, uh, or skinny foil. Could have, you know, could have gone with much bigger foil. Could have gone with much uh, bigger board. Would have helped a ton uh, for getting going and all that stuff. But I was kind of just testing, testing the, the limits of what I could do here. So I'm gonna try and get going and get back, get back in. made it back in by winging. I didn't have to walk a shame. Way to go, eight meter light wind. Whew. Okay, so if you're gonna go out in light wind, you're gonna have to walk a shame. You're gonna get stuck. You're gonna work way harder than you want to, but you are gonna get a session. You know, it was like glassing off to like five out there on, on a, uh, a few times. I was having a hard time getting started switch because that's where like the swell and the currents coming. So it was just like nothing going that direction. Transitions are harder because you got this gigantic strut. There's a lot of downsides to these big wings. As far as big wings go, this eight meter light winds, probably the best that I've used. I mean, it flaps, but you get going, you ride. You just have to be prepared for, you know, swimming. You know, you prepare to swim and walk. If you're prepared to do that, get one of these things and you've got your best hope of riding and getting joy because I'm totally stoked that I took a session. Next time, I should have, I just remembered that I have my 1325 in my truck, which would totally been the right call. It would have helped a lot to get, you know, like those like almost there thing. Um, obviously 50 liter board, not the best call either, but it's cool to kind of ride your, your daily driver stuff and be able to go out in five to 10 miles an hour wind and go. Um, what size are these ultralights? I mean, I would probably, the eight was hard to kind of handle maneuver, but it got me going and it's, it goes in the, like, the seven would have got me going. So I would say go with the eight, you know, the six for lighter riders, um, seven, you know, if you don't want to, like, I'm a, like, I'm dying to go session at any cost. So I'd probably say the eight's the way to go. I mean, again, they said do it by weight. Like if you're over 200 pounds Sasquatch, I guess I'm Sasquatch because I would take the eight. You know, seven, I'm not sure I had to, would have enough. Nine, uh, six, I didn't have enough. So I guess I'm Sasquatch, go eight. The thing's big, it's flappy. It flies really well when you're riding. It actually rides really well. Um, feels balanced, goes up wind nicely. I thought it was gonna just drag me down wind. Goes up wind nicely, partially because I had, you know, some bladed out uh, foils, but yeah, Nova Ultralight. I enjoy it. If you got more questions, what? <laughs> Want to check us out online, realwatersports.com. If you want to talk to us at the shop, 252-987-6000. See you guys on the water for the next session.